What was the the product that you reviewed that you got paid for that you had to leave the worst kind of conclusion for? I don't know if I got paid. The I know the answer to that question where I know I didn't get paid was the Fender GT40 amplifier. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I do have it. So I just thought that was rubbish. It was an absolute miss. And I am a bit of a Fender fanboy. I, mm -hmm. I love Fender guitars. And it, it amazes me that I get to work with them. You know, it's I love it. I've grown up with them. But that amp was an absolute miss. And I was, you know, you have to be honest again. And in the talking, I've realized the answer to your question. It was also an amplifier, the Blackstar ID Core version 3, uh, the current version. I got in a lot of not trouble, but I got on some a lot of arguments with Blackstar over that, and I have to say um, they they turned that all around, and everything is super cool now. And they learned a lot from it as a company, and I've met with them and the 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 main guys at Blackstar several times, and they're super nice people. They're knowledgeable, and they do make great amps. Yeah. However, the amplifier that I had at that time, and don't forget that these things have a, a tolerance, a, a build quality tolerance. Yeah. And this is a low priced amp. That amp was whistling through the headphone socket. And every time oh. I played something, you could hear, <laughs> and it was really, I, I couldn't not say something, you know? Yeah. Uh, and I, I went really far. I even put some tissue paper or something next to the headphone socket and filmed it flapping around. It was, uh, <gasps> no. <laughs> may, may, maybe a step too far, but I wanted to prove my point so that if anyone you know, said something, I could say, look, doing it right there and yeah that wasn't received that well but in doing so i kind of like what jonathan spoke about earlier the relationship between me and blackstar became very respectful because okay. we were like right this is all on the table this is all open um you paid me they, there was never no question of not paying me either by the way they, they were all good people um but there's the money there's your video there's me there's you blackstar as a company there's the contact person as a person also um, and we found common ground and now we work together all the time. And in fact, there's a black star right, right, right there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, uh, it's a great amp and yeah, it, it's, it, it honestly, I've gone for a quite a while without doing one of those videos or having one of those experiences. And it makes me wonder if I am turning too positive and I have to, you know, check myself several mm. times, like, and then, but then I'm in videos like. I've got to find something negative about this. I can't. It's brilliant. Yeah. And it only costs a hundred bucks, you know? And the fact is it's never been a better time to be a gear lover. We're yeah. so lucky. So, so lucky. And also it doesn't matter. It's just gear. Mm. It, it, I have enough guitars and pedals and amps more than enough than I will ever need. And then another one comes in and I, and I, I must say, I still buy gear. That's, that's really important to me. I still buy gear. I'm still looking at the used ads in my local websites. You know, uh, I'm still looking at mm -hmm. stuff on reverb and I'm still going, Oh man, I would love that. There's a Les Paul custom on there at the moment from 198, no, 1994. No, I'm not going to say anything. It's from 1972 <laughs> and it's blue. Oh, um, no. Uh, it's there's a guitar on at the moment and i just look at it every day and it causes me trouble so I, I i do love gear and i think again that's you have to love it because you're doing it all day long and if, if you're just doing it for the money um you're going to be absolutely miserable